Hi everyone, I'm back with another manga haul. Today is a surprise haul because I actually didn't go out and pick them up myself. They were bought for me in London. So it is a London manga haul, although I didn't actually go to London myself. I was asked for a list of any volumes I might be needing and I expected possibly one or two. <laughs> and this is what was brought back. So I thought I'd make a little video just about this haul. A mixture of genres and some new things as well to the collection. So let's get started. I'll show you what I got. First pickups are Lovesick Ellie volumes four and volume six. So I am now missing five. This is a series that I did try and I wasn't too sure about, but I have decided to give it another go. So I have a, a few more volumes. I'll pick up volume five, maybe online, if I can find it for a good price and, and give them a read through because everyone seems to really love it. And I don't know if I just wasn't in the mood for it maybe when I tried it the first time. So I want, I want to know why everybody loves this. So I am going to give this another go. I have spoken to a few people about it and it's a very mixed kind of opinion on whether it's good or bad. It says older teen, but I, I got a, a younger teen vibe. But like I said, I did give up like about halfway through. So I am going to, I am going to try again and don't hate on me. Yeah, I love sick Ellie, four and six. Next up, another one, another one that I was kind of on the fence. I got Vampire Dormitory Volume 4, 5, 7, which I believe has just come out Volume 7. So I am missing Volume 6. I have read one to three of these and it's not that I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy it. It's kind of been described as vampire trash. It is definitely the better kind of vampire trash if you're going to compare it to something like, well, you can't compare it to something like Rose and Blood. That was that was next level down in my opinion this is more i think i was expecting too much from this again so i am i am wanting to continue just to see if it picks up if it improves the way that volume three ended leaves room for things to get better i think so i am looking forward to reading those and really really quick and easy to read and art is lovely and you know the spines look really good together as well <laughs> so yeah so i need to pick up volume six of that to be able to get through to the end of volume seven i'm not sure how many are in this series i have a feeling that it is over 10 though so far anyway i don't know how it could go on for, for that long we'll see we will see next i got and these are completely out of sequence because I am struggling to find these. So I just said from volume, I have one to three. So I said from volume four onwards, any volumes of this. So I got the Demon Prince of Momochi House, volume 11 and volume 16, which is the last volume. So like I have quite a few to pick up, but from what I've read, I have only read volume one, but from what I've read of volume one, I, I was enjoying it. So I am interested to continue them. A lot of people have, I've heard talk about kind of compare this to Kamisama Kiss or say those similarities. I haven't read Kamisama Kiss because it is so hard to find the volumes. If they're gonna be reprinted, I will be picking those up. I have picked up volume one, but I haven't read it yet. So I will be picking those up and reading it as well but this is slightly easier to find I think so this is my next shoujo beat to search for I think so I have five of the 16 volumes <laughs> Oops. so yep it's a nice surprise next another no another shoujo beat that I will be spending a lot of time looking for but I have more volumes of this now it is Queen's Quality so I got volume six volume 10, 11 and 12. So I have one to three so far and now these. So yeah, still quite a few of those to pick up as well. But other than volume four, I think they are relatively easy to find. 
usually for quite a good deal on Amazon or I think Blackwell's had them quite cheap so I will be picking those up probably not next month probably we're going to be looking into next year now because I, I do have quite a lot of Christmas presents to buy so I will not be buying myself anything like as much manga although I can tell you that my November haul for the end of this month is probably going to be a little bit ridiculous <laughs> so stay tuned but yeah so Queen's Quality again I haven't started on this series yet but I did read Kyuku Sweeper which is the prequel and loved it and I do really like this manga's stories so far so I also want to try and find Beastmaster which is just a two volume series but for a good price so I'm keeping my eye out for that one and next up we have some plastic wrapped manga uh finder target insight volume one and another two in the bl category i've picked this up and put this down quite a few times in store so i'm excited that it's <laughs> that i have got it and that is black or white volume one and volume two Again, I don't know a lot about this series, so I do I do really enjoy BL and it, I, I just haven't read a lot of it recently. I've been on a bit of a shoujo kick, so I am going to make an effort to read some more BL because I am behind on quite a few series and generally once I'm in that BL zone, I'm like, give me all the BL. <laughs> so yes excited for those. Next one is something I'd never even heard of so totally new to the collection and I did look it up and actually there's like there's like 25 volumes I don't know if they've all been printed in English it's called the saga of Tanya the evil I believe there's an anime for this as well I don't know if it's just come out or if it's been out for a while I think this series started in around 2016 I could be wrong it looks really interesting it's a seinen series and again, I haven't read this yet, so I can't tell you that much about it. But from what I read in the synopsis, it is about a salary man in Japan, in like modern day Japan, who, I don't know if he's isekai he dies and he then is in the body of a young girl in 1920s Germany, is involved in the war somehow. So very, very different genre, but I do like to kind of change it up a bit sometimes. So I will definitely be putting my thoughts about this on the Instagram when I get around to reading it. The artwork looks really nice. Uh, next up I have Call of the Night volume 9. I am missing a couple now. I have six, up to six so I need seven and eight. But I am still, I'm still behind reading this. I haven't picked it up for a while. But I do want to because I know a lot more people have been reading it and talking about it, really enjoying it. So it's something I'm going to go back to hopefully quite soon. Another one I hadn't heard of, and I think from what I've looked into, it is completed two volumes, and that is volumes one and two of Alice in Ishunan Land. Ishunan Land. This, I'm not sure if this is kind of an isekai. After getting unexpectedly drawn into an idle dating sim, I would say yes, it kind of is. So again different from what I would normally read and because it's so short I'm sure I'll probably read it quite soon and, and let you know it looks interesting another Tokyo pop title I don't have many of those in my collection not any of the new ones anyway so it's a nice addition another volume I have out of sequence so I can't read it yet but I now only need a couple is Blue Flag volume 8 which is the last in the series I spoke about this in another haul video that I wasn't totally blown away by this story and didn't really get all the hype for it. I shouldn't flick through because I'll spoil it for myself. Like the art is lovely, the characters are... I, I don't love the characters, there's only one character I really like so I think that's why I'm struggling with it but I, I kind of get that the, the overall story is quite sweet and sad like it, it's it's Maybe it's harder. For, it's just harder for me to relate to as an older person, but definitely I can see why teens and you're like early twenties kind of enjoy this. So I I have decided to finish it since I got this uh, volume. So I just need five, six, and seven, and I will be able to uh, get through to the end of this. So they look very nice on the shelf as well, which is a bonus. 
another new pickup so this is the witch and the beast volume five i have only got and read volume one i read volume one at the end of october because i was trying to read anything with witch in the title basically just for halloween i really really loved volume one totally different from what i expected i don't i don't know what i expected it was totally different and i definitely want to continue so uh, they only had volume five apparently but i thought well I know I'm probably going to get to that point anyway, so I just need to find some more volumes two to four and I can read this. These covers are pretty spectacular as well. The character designs are really interesting, I like it. So yeah. And next I have now this appeals to me because it looks really interesting but I know it also it will appeal to my child <laughs> and he will want to read it and that is Dinosaur Sanctuary Volume 1. I don't know what demographic this comes under. I don't really know. I don't know what it's about other than dinosaurs. And I think it says it's set in 1940s so I'm, it, it should be interesting and I will definitely be reading this soon. So yeah, I'll see if I can show you some, some of the artwork. I've seen a few people pick this up, um, but I don't really know if it's kind of gone down well. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. I do love dinosaurs, so. Oh. And the last two of this haul I'm really excited about. I've put off picking these up just because they're quite expensive, but I did watch some of the anime, not all of it, and really enjoyed it. So I did plan to pick them up, but I was waiting for the third volume to come out to get them all on a three for two deal in like Forbidden Planet or Traveler Man. I don't actually know if Traveler Man put these ones on three for two. Anyway, definitely Forbidden Planet do. And that is Tokyo Revengers. So volume one and volume two and the only issue i have with these because i'm really excited to read them and i know everybody's kind of raves about this series all the time the only issue i have is is that <laughs> volume one is is printed on the white paper the white heavy paper and volume two is printed on the normal manga paper so I'm gonna have to try and change this, I think, for a, a normal one because I want them to match and it also makes it thinner and I don't like it. But I'm very excited to have these anyway and get started on reading this series. So I think I watched about 10 episodes and I knew I enjoyed it and I was, I was watching them weekly and I think, I don't know what happened, I just forgot to continue watching it <laughs> or, you know, life got in the way. So I do prefer to read things first just in case details or anything's changed or left out. So I'm I'm gonna read as much as I can before I go back and watch the anime. I know there's another season coming out soon. So yeah, so really, really excited about those. So that is everything that I got brought back from London. And that in total is 23 volumes. So quite, quite an exciting haul that I did not expect. So that is everything I got in this haul from London. I think they were mostly or all picked up in foils, which I, I would love to go to London and go to foils because I've seen quite a few shopping videos and photos and it looks like a really, really exciting shop. So maybe I need to plan a trip to London myself, but then maybe I need to save up first because I can imagine I'll need an extra suitcase to come back with all of the new manga. So let me know what you think of these series. If there's anything you want to know about, as always, just leave a comment and I will let you know as best I can. Tell me which ones I need to prioritise in picking up the missing volumes because it's going to be expensive, I think. I'm really, really looking forward to collecting and reading Queen's Quality, but that is probably the biggest series with the biggest gaps. That and Demon Prince, quite a few volumes to pick up there. So I'm not really sure where to start on that one. I think I just need to make an Amazon wish list and take them off slowly. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe for more manga content. I have another haul coming up at the end of the month. It'll be everything I picked up in November 
I, I am still waiting on a few parcels so I'm not sure how big the haul will be but I'm trying my very best now not to buy anything else. But I have one that I'm extremely excited about and a completely unexpected purchase is all I'm going to say. <laughs> so tune in for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!